Hello my family, my good people Welcome back to our YouTube channel Our TV Max One from Kenya I go by the name Max One from Kenya If you are new in this YouTube channel And you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel Consider please by subscribing Yeah, let me take this chance to greet you my people Wherever you are Thank you very much for always coming back watching my videos. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I love you so much, you know. So it is a super good day from this village of Nyabohanse. And I've missed you a lot, you know. I know right now you're busy at least preparing for one, two, for the Christmas. But I think... This Christmas should always be celebrated because uh, you know Jesus died for us and now we should live for him. So while living we should always celebrate Jesus. You know. So to me I'm so excited. It is a chilly morning and we've woken up, everyone is busy in the village trying to do one, two. Yeah, so you can see the village the way it is yeah before i go maybe i should just say this because yeah you know we are building and things must go on so thanks to my mom you supported me at least to to do the windows yeah i've done the deposits and the welder is going on after one week yeah he told me after one week actually everything will be okay because he told me he doesn't want to close the work this year with my work he wants him he want he will he will finish only one week so maybe on 29th 30th that first day the windows will be done so I'm so excited because everything is God and God is opening doors. Yeah, I'm so very happy, happy. Yeah. So I'm praying for you, my people, wherever you want. May God give you whatever you want. Yeah, my mom from Canada. Yeah, my mom from UK. My mom from New Jersey. You know. Thank you very much my subscribers my returning viewers thank you very much my dads and my sisters salute so today my people let's I share you know we have these characters actually the boss character and the employee character even from this village you know we have the bosses and we have the employees hmm. now the employees should respect the bosses because in any company, a company, as I, uh, uh, you'll find that it has got managers, it has got employees, supervisors, you know. Yeah. So even here, we have the bosses and we have the employees and we have the subjects. And as an employee, you should always respect the boss. Take the rules the way the, the boss wants and go with it. Mm. It is so annoying when someone gives you an instruction and you pretend to follow it but not following it in a correct way. So from this village actually, I want to speak this. People should respect their bosses. Not just mentioning boss, this is my boss, this is my boss, this is my boss, boss, boss. And what he has told you to do, you are not doing it. Respect your boss. Let me talk this to young, this young boy. You know, this young short boy from this village. This young short boy should respect the boss because the boss said very clearly that he doesn't want charity. Because he defined charity as coming. Eh? 
I even remember some six months back, no, like eight months back. There is one fella who was trying to do the charity. You know, he helped him to get some subscribers and views. But later, when this young man tried to do the charity, he came back and said, no, this is not what I told you to do. I want you to create good content. I want you so that people can view. And anyone who's going to come to support you will support you on his own will. But I don't want to see you doing charity. And he even went further and told the subscriber to unsubscribe from the channel. From that fella. I know you watch the videos and you know. And for sure, I've not seen him does any charity apart from that house that Mama Ann is living. Mm. So, this young fella who call him boss, my boss, my boss, you know, my boss, my boss, try and follow what the boss wants. Don't go against the boss. It is too bad. Even according to the Bible and according to the bosses around from this world who have got companies, who have got works, they have employed, you know, people, they have to follow the instructions, rules and regulations. It is an opposite that I'm seeing here. Because what I'm seeing here, uh, these fellas, they're just opportunists. You know me, when I want to be loyal, I'll be loyal. When I say yes, is a yes. Hmm? I don't want to lie. When I say this is that, don't fake things. And you know when the sister came out and said these people are just opportunists, you know the people thought she was lying. The truth is they are just opportunists. Once you help these people, they will turn the back on you and they will stab you on your back. And that is what is happening. So this young man has pushed this young fella to at least is now 20 something 26,000 subscribers there 26 there and when you know he's usually around him you know everything even when you want to reach him is the one now is blocking blocking telling him no this one no this one does not call you boss this one does not do what what and we've received a lot of complaints but now what is annoying so much and the truth should be said. Whoever wants to bust, let her bust, all him bust, take hot water and go and sleep. The truth must be said. When your boss tells you don't do charity, don't do charity. Stick to your project. Because right now we know you're building. Stick to your project. Now, this young fella is trying to overstep the boundaries. Hmm? Because don't think that someone does not need what you want. Because I can see the character is being portrayed that this young fella wants it for himself, all for himself, which is very bad. I know my people are so intelligent. You know what I'm talking about. There is one orphanage that was here, at Isbania here. Actually, it is not in this village. It is not in Yabuhanse village, but it is in Isbania border. When you reach at that town, you divert. Like one kilometer, you reach at that orphanage. That orphanage, I have gone there, actually. Me, myself, have gone there. I even did something there, but off camera with the respect of one thing you know you cannot intrude into things just because maybe you have many subscribers now you have you want now to look down upon those who were there before you hmm? it is very bad so me when i went there i found and this is a reality i found one of my brother from this village 
had already gone there, had already taken the, the project. And when I tried to ask him, he told me, my subscribers are ready to help because me, I'm doing charity. They are ready to help because even now you can say I purchased some mattresses, I purchased some rice, I purchased some cabbages, and even shoes for these children. So we've started. Even the small head I gave to my brother. And he knows because he may don't lie. I gave him. I had bought some rice. I gave it to my brother. I told him, because you've come here and they have received you in good hands and you've said you will help and your people who watches your channel are ready to support the children then let us not intrude and bring confusion and bring some mayhem because we don't want to confuse our subscribers because my family respect me i respect them i love them they love me your family loves you they respect you respect them they love you they are ready to support so maybe whatever we'll be having i'll be giving you you will be taking there but now it came to vice versa to this young boy from this village you know when ego is too much in someone he cannot follow the protocol he just looks down upon all the people and sees that ah now is the one owning everything the money plus the subscribers plus the views now he want to at least you know pee to people's mouth that is too bad what annoyed me more when this fella it is not bad because those children need help even me went there because i wanted to support them but immediately i reached there and found that there's someone there i had to follow the protocol I found the guy eh? and he told me, Max, where are you? I told him I'm on this orphanage, but uh, I, mm, I've entered, but I don't want to do anything on camera. Just come because I've got some things to. Yes, that is how things should work. So that you know, we should be brothers and sisters keepers. We should love each other as brothers and sisters. Now, this fella, that's because now he saw. Because that orphanage, no one knew it. No one knew it in this village. No one. It's only that people are opportunists because they know when things are being sent there, there's some small cash that is remaining or they know how they purchase things going there. There's some cash that they put in their pockets and that is why. Eh? This guy, instead of him at least calling this young man from this village, at least to tell him, ah, my brother, I've heard that you have, you've been here. I don't want to create some maybe anonymity and locomotion, maybe misunderstanding between me and you. How do you want us to do this thing? But this man, because he thinks he's the one now, eh? he's the hero, he's, he's known all over, he has got everything. He intruded, he intruded into someone's project that he has already started you know someone who has fed you today don't even if it is little that he was giving you and this is a very serious message even if it is very little that that person was feeding you another one comes with a big one don't ever forget that one who was feeding you with little because that one was feeding me little, had good intention with you. Because without him, even that one could not have come. Mm. So this is a message to that the owner, that woman of the art orphanage. We know your character. That orphanage, we know it very well from the root where it started. It came down and fall. This is the second time it is coming up. There are a lot of scandals that were there. We know. Even me, I know everything from A to Z. There is a case that was opened there. Someone was scammed. And we know everything. Scamming came there. And this young man, instead of him even asking some history, 
because he is so he is so egocentric he is more not much knowing he just pretended to go there so that he can show the world that you know me i'm the one helping here and there those children we decided to help them not even helping that mom because we know the character of the mom he was once he he, he had he, he initially he had some people who were sponsor, sponsoring that orphanage that orphanage was being sponsored for your information if you don't know many years back that orphanage was in a good state that mom was being sent a lot of cash but because of greedy because of self interests the people who were supporting him from us eh? because this fella thinks that that mom is now is this the time that is seeing people supporting her eh? she has been supported she even, she even had a very nice car a car that was was worth some millions There are some things people should understand. Yes, we want to help the children, but who is behind those children? Even though that help that you do give the children, you should always be careful that that help reaches that children. Because you might giving and later being sold. You might be giving later being sold, thinking you are helping when you know nothing. Because me, when I told this young man from this village, this orphanage has got a history like this and this and this. You can even ask from the local people around because that was things that was even in the news. That orphanage has a scandal, had a scandal that was even in the news. In the news. You know me, I don't want people to be scammed. Actually, I don't want people to be scammed. Hmm? That mom had a, had a scandal that was in the news. And now when we say this, some people do think, oh, Max One is, doesn't want what? Max One that want, doesn't want people to help what, what? Sometimes I do wonder. This mom portrayed a very bad character because if she was a wise woman, because at that time when, when those children were sleeping hungry, when those children had nothing to feed, this young boy came from this village. Someone came and uh, he met this young man because I don't know who told him that he's doing charity. He came and took this young man from this village, took him there, went there, did a video. Subscribers were ready to help. Now this young man thinks that, oh, other subscribers are very poor, because he has good subscriber, not the, the most rich. Eh? We appreciate the little that they give out. Don't think that maybe when you're being su su surprised with some one thousand dollars U.S. dollars, someone surprising you with one hundred U.S. dollars, you think this one hundred U.S. dollars is so much is is is, is small than the one you are offering. Respect. Respect and respect is something very nice. It's not, uh, it's not bought, but earned. I wish people could have senses. I wish people could open eyes and see. Because if those children, we could have come together. Because this young boy told me that one day we shall sit as the YouTubers and we shall see what we can do for these children. And I told him that is a good idea. Yeah, but because you've come first, you will now be like the manager and the supervisor of the, the orphanage. But as the small that we shall be getting, we shall be donating out through you so that it reaches the, the kids. Our wish is that our, those kids should not, go, should not sleep hungry, should not go without eating, should, you know? That was our wish. But now this fella, because he's so greedy, so greedy, I can say he's so greedy, very greedy. 
you know very very great you know this this, this is like a bed you can just relax hmm? very comfort zone you see the zone not because this fella is so greedy he doesn't know what even is taking place you only think ah because i've gotten people to support here eh? let me you know i have i, I know what I, I will get from this you know when they send me 500 us dollars uh, i know i will get 200 us dollars from it sometimes even inquiring your brothers from the village without using the ego from inside of you will help you more because one day you will come out and say i wish i knew but that time will not be there eh? you don't know even the history of the orphanage you're just there because eh, because you went there and uh, you good people are ready to support but they be they, they, they are supporting but maybe even the help that they are rendering there is not reaching those kids eh? ask first and make a follow up is what does that thing that is given out does it reach those kids do they enjoy what is being sent to them or is it going and passing through another door outside or you only go there because there is something you've been sent for them and yours immediately you leave you leave it and you upload the video for views you just run away and you come back to the village you come to the, your project you buy something for your project another thing you do you we wait again for them to send you go there again you come back that is not helping and you overstep the boundary because that is not how brothers we should live in this village and i'm saying this from my heart that is not how brothers should we should live in this village don't think that the youtubers from here they didn't know that the orphanage was there they knew and you've not seen youtubers there because they have respect once you start a project not unless you come out and tell us ah my brothers uh, what i started is not going well so you can chip in in a good way people will understand you but not intruding into people's business even me i cannot open my company i haven't said i'm tired i haven't said i can't run it there's someone who is trying to back to to stab on my back wishing me bad that is too bad things should not go like that things should not go like that and i'm saying this i'm repeating hmm? So the history of that orphanage, I have it on my fingertips because I know it. We only said, we only saw pity to those kids because they're innocent. Because what was happening there was totally scamming. Eh? Totally scamming. And this message, if you're watching this video, I know you'll watch this video. Try and go ask the locals around about the history of that orphanage, how it started, how it came to fall until those children were sleeping hungry and at that, and they used to live very well. A lot of money was going there, millions of millions. Ask yourself. So, back to the agenda. This young fella from this village who respects his boss because his boss said very clearly he doesn't want anyone who is helping, anyone who has helped by views and subscribers to do charity. He defined it as scamming. He defined it as milking money from subscribers. If I'm lying, go watch the videos. Huh? Let those who do charity, do charity. We have good subscribers who watches our videos, you know. When they feel like, let me support this young man from this village with the small I have. Today I'm not going to buy sneakers. Today I'm not going to buy some 
shopping for myself, for my kids, but I want to support this young boy from this village at least to have something on the table with his family. He or she will do that from her heart. Eh? When she calls you, because our numbers are just there. Are just there. Eh? Our numbers are just there in our descriptions. Anyone can come in and ask, Mark Swan, my son, my brother, I want to talk to you. I want to support you with this and this. My, my son, I can see a building. I want to support you this and this in a genuine way without even saying give me. Eh? In a humble way. But when your boss tells you don't do this, don't stab him at his back doing an opposite of what he doesn't want. Because what you are to doing totally is against what your boss told us in his YouTube channel. Huh? Because even me, if today my subscribers tells me, Max One, we want you to do charity. We want you to go around and look for those people who are having difficulties. At least we can do something for them. I'll do it because and I'll know that this now is the request from my subscribers, my bosses. They are my boss. Eh? My family and my boss. Eh? So I will respect them because I've come down with them. We've grown slowly by slowly. We've reached, we are now going to, to 3,000. I will say, your word is, your com is, is, is my command. Eh? You see, I'll do as they say. When they tell me, Max One, we want you to go around, at least we can surprise five families with something in the village. I'll do it. But before them do it, telling me that, I can't force. Eh? I can't force. The same way this man is trying to force things. Trying to betray his boss at his back, trying to milk some money just because maybe he's doing some, you know. You know me, let me say this. You know, yes, I've I even I received, uh, you know, sometimes I do wonder because I usually say God's time is the best. You never know what God has in store for me for tomorrow. Today, I might sleep hungry. My family might sleep hungry, but that is my family. I can't bring it on camera and say, I slept hungry. But I know tomorrow, God is going to open doors. My family will feed. Eh? So, me, I can't maybe complain that, ah, I'm not good because I'll be even the most high whom we worship, the almighty God will say, ah, my son is so ungrateful. Wow, can he complain? Hmm? You see? So me, I usually believe in step by step. We do step by step. As I started the foundation of the house, I started with the foundation. I came, first courses, second courses, fourth, what, what, windows. Windows, the rent on. The rent on? Some courses, of courses, the timbers, the timbers, the iron sheets. The iron sheets, some courses again. After there, we came the doors hmm, from good moms. The iron sheets, the support from a good mom. The windows, a support from a good mom. Hmm? Step by step, you never know what God has. Hmm? Because I can see even one was trying to tell me, Oh, Max One, you are always walking, walking here. You don't have even a motorbike, you know, and you are busy saying, oh, what, 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 what? Me, I know tomorrow I might wake up with a, with a motorbike. Eh? Because you don't know, maybe there's a mom somewhere, maybe there's a dad somewhere, maybe there's a sister somewhere who is watching me very, every day and he likes what I'm doing. And one day I might wake up and find a big surprise. Max One, you have a motorbike. You can now go around the village at least showing us what is in the village 
Eh? At least we want you to go to somewhere, show us that place the way it is, without me using transport. Eh? Only putting some fuel in motorbike and I go. Eh? God's time is the best. Because I cannot make a video saying, give me, give me, give me, give me. No, that is wrong. But if there is anyone who loves what Max One is doing, who sees Max One as his son, as his brother, one day eh, God might bless him, bless her, and say, let me bless this small with my brother, my son. But we should not intrude into things that will make people shed tears later. Scamming people, eh? doing things in a bad way. Someone coming out in a good way, saying, I want to give you this money so that you can take to someone, that orphanage. Reaching there, you just cut it that money half. You put in your pocket. You Put, put some small shopping there, you're cheating, cheating people there, and you give it. Huh? Now do you think even God himself, where he is, he is happy? He's not happy. Yes, you can please the people around the village that you are doing a big project. Yes, there's no problem. But remember, the riches on earth, we are leaving them here. The only thing that we shall go eat is the heart written a lot of things that we did because they do say in the last judgment everything that we do any mistake that you do any sin that you commit any good that you do is written in your heart so your heart will just be opened and everyone will be reading yes so and so did this so and so did this when you are sent this money to give this to this person you never did it when you are sent this thing to give to this orphan, you never did it. When you are sent this money to build for this person, you scammed him, you, did it, you never did it. When you are sent something to at least uplift this old man and even do something for this old woman, you never did it. So only your sin will be taking to the fire, 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 burning years and years, one finger, this finger here, you see this finger, it will be burnt for 500 years. 500 years without it get finished. 500 years you are just burning this finger. Another 500 this finger. Another 500 this finger. Another 500 this finger. Another this. So this finger will burn mm, how many years? 25 good years burning these fingers. Now when it comes to the hand because of the sins. So when we are here let's do good things at the right time. Let's respect those who at least you found there. If you found Max One doing a project, don't underrate him because maybe you see him like, ah, his subscribers, they're, they're inactive, they don't help him. So let me chip in there so that my subscribers, the one who have money, they can keep chip in and give out more. That is too bad. We'll be downgrading my subscribers. We'll be creating a lot of negativity in my heart. You see? Let's be brothers and sisters keepers. Let's respect each other. And when I say this in a humble way, people do say that, oh, Max One is trying now what, 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 what. Me, I usually follow instruction and rules. I usually obey. And I usually respect the younger and the elders. That is my heart. And me, when someone provoke me, I just say it because I don't care. Eh? When someone provoked me, I just say it. Eh? I don't want to hide things in my heart. Mm -hmm. No. I say it. So our brother from this village just know that you overstepped the boundary. You went there, you intruded in someone's project that he has already started. Those things that you have been given... If you are a good man, you should have cooperated with the young man so that at least eh, we could have seen that for sure you are trying to promote peace and unity in the village. 
But when you go there with your team, eh, pretending to be so smart, so intelligent, you know, you know, may do wonder. Some people do think that they are so intelligent than the others. Things that they, they do think that oh, some people are. Uh, they, eh? You know, God blesses people on His time. God might have blessed you at this time, but you don't know tomorrow if He's going to bless that another one in a high time, in a high way than yours. So when He blesses you today. Don't look down upon those who have not been blessed because their, their, their blessings are coming in plenty, maybe tomorrow. Eh? So when you find, you, you, you intrude in someone's project thinking that maybe you are the one now having much blessings, you are wrong. Very much wrong. And that is where, now when you do that, <coughs> I come out and say that these things should not be done like this in a truthful way hmm. so one day I'll be saying the history of that orphanage because I've just narrated briefly that history was even in the television but this young fella never knew anything because as me as Max One I swear that I'll always speak the reality the reality of the reality from this village and I'm ready to fish out all the realities that are in our village around, surrounding us here. Because if, even me, if you tell me, tell me about Banya town, I'll tell you. Tell me about Nyabuansi village, I'll tell you. Tell me about Subakuya Mabera, I'll tell you. Tell me about Migori County, I'll be able to give you the information. First hand information, not hand that has fed, not the information that has fed, no. I give out first hand. So this fella, he does not, you know, um, my brothers here, uh, maybe, they are not, you know, when they receive little money, they don't have second thought of asking, how can I do this? Uh, well, how, how am I going to go with this? They don't. The only thing that they do is, can I, can I, can I, can I give out what I was given so that I can use what I have been given? You know, we should always have a second thought, at least, to guide us. I'd always have, have that stand where you belong, you know. If you belong to charity, remain to charity. If you belong to traveling, show us the traveling, the way you, you are going around Uganda here, Going around Rwanda here, you went to Uganda, Rwanda, Mombasa, I, I saw you there. At least you show us. Now you are back here trying, you know, now they, you are now trying to at least, how can I get money? You are not trying to betray your boss, what he doesn't want, because he said very clearly he doesn't want people to come and do charity. Now you are betraying him in a very decent way, trying to tell the subscribers about the charity when you are not... When your channel is not even about charity. Eh? So let's be realistic. Let's speak the truth. The truth should set us free. Eh? Another thing that I want to say is that yesterday you saw my brother was selling some goats. <laughs> yeah, he was selling some goats. You know, you have, a, you have one of the business. Yeah, where we sell some cows, sheep, goats. Even the clothes, you're gonna go and find them there. The chicken, they are there. Yeah, usually on Thursday and Sunday. So I saw my brother at least was going to sell some some goats. Yeah, but I understood him. I understood him very well. Because me, when it is good, I say it is good. When it is bad, I say it is bad. So he went with six goats. He sold the goats. And he was like, you know, uh, I don't have, I don't have a place where uh, these goats can graze. So I decided to sell the goats, the gift goats, because those are those, those are the gifts, you know, those are the gifts. So in my mind, maybe I said, ah, Kumbe, it, at least it, if they could have been giving you at least in terms of cash, you know, sometimes for sure. 
in our village here um, they, we don't have places where we can graze the cows you know right now people they, you know right now people the the portion of the land you will find that someone is is planting maize all the shamba planting beans cassavas eh, banana like here you can see we have bananas we have cassavas what what so the places of grazing they are very small some are building are buying and fencing and building actually right now people are buying lands here fencing and building yeah that is the main thing that has been happening is happening here hmm? they are fencing building so my family uh, my brother was like eh, you know people will come out and say uh, I did it because what 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 let me tell you always be confident in everything that you do uh, if you sold the goats the goats were yours if you want to use it maybe for the Christmas just use it for your Christmas if you want to use it maybe to buy another cow so that you can have few number of maybe goats because you don't have a place where you can dress there's nothing there's no problem if you're gonna want to come and buy some maybe uh, yeah because you said you have you planted uh, you planted some some trees in your compound and the, the, the goats can destroy we understand so as you are so happy and don't don't feel like ah max one is going to come out and say oh i sold the goats because i'm broke you know i sold the goats because I, I want to make it for christmas no 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 sometimes we don't do it we are above that because even me when someone surprises me something i'll just do it with that surprise whatever i want to do it with so we understood you and what is good is good why you go wrong, I'll always be there to correct you. So tomorrow, because I watched that video from the, from the first to the end, and at least where you said, ah, now people might come out and say, no, 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 no. If that gift was yours, it was yours. You can just use it. You can even, you can even have soup for one God. It was your gift. Even me, when someone surprises me, even this Christmas with a God, that Max One is your God. Yeah? Have it for your Christmas. I'll do it. On. Yes. So, that is it. Hmm? And also this Christmas, you know, we have a lot of maybe people doing shopping here and there at least. Let's visit those who don't have at least. Like me, this, this old grandpa. I'm intending to at least celebrate with him this christmas you know the elderly one at least he feel like he has some people who cares for him yeah so if anyone is watching this video or maybe from far where you are watching this video my brothers and sisters you're gonna want to maybe to surprise the old grandpa and you know him very well yeah if you want to buy him some maybe gifts you can even buy him some or anything that you wish yeah i'd be very happy I'll take it to him we shall celebrate together so that he can enjoy that he has a family because he knows he has a family that cares for him a lot yeah so thank you very much our video is not going to be so long let's reach here i love you so much my good people watch the video to the end don't skip the ads comment share like advise me you know and i'm also going to leave my number there if you're gonna want at least we can talk you know there's some who always tell me max one how can we reach you max one you know your number is not there how can we reach you so i'm giving my number we can you know you can advise me you can you can tell me my my my, my brother i want a land there what can we do uh, my brother i mean i i want something like this uh, my brother what's happening in the village yeah we shall be we shall be talking yeah so thank you very much i love you so much i salute you subscribe if you're not subscribed yeah let us roll it to 5000 subscribers and i'll be very very grateful i'll be very very happy 
shout outs to all those who do does positive vibes yeah i respect you so much shout out to my sisters who does the vlogs reaction vlogs in a positive way trying to at least educate inspire and also create awareness to things that are not you know we have those people who want to hide some dirty things but that is why i'm saying shout out to, to my sisters because they're doing good job they should always bring out the dark side so that people can see so thank you very much i love you so much see you in another vlog that is coming tomorrow regards from my family my mom my wife my children my siblings they love you so much you are the best of the best see you in another that is coming